Hey guys, this is Matt Wicker with Chatley Marine. Hope everybody's having a great day. Today we're going to take a look at the 2024 Sea Hunt Ultra 234. For anyone not familiar with Sea Hunt boats, they are built in Columbia, South Carolina. They've been in business since 1995 and they are the number one selling boat in the 21 to 30 foot size range. And at Chatley Marine, we're happy to be their largest dealer in the country year after year. Before we climb in the boat and take a look around, we'll talk about a few of the specs. The boat is 23 foot 7 inches has an 8 foot 6 inch beam, has a uh, low 13 inch draft, so great for island hopping, uh, carries a max horsepower capacity of 250 horsepower. Uh, at Chatley we do stock it both with a 200 horsepower inline 4 and the 250 V6 XSB. The boat weighs about 2800 pounds, has a 96 gallon fuel capacity. Before we uh, climb in the boat I want to take a second to talk about the hull design. Sea Hunt is known for their variable degree dead rise. And what that is is everybody measures dead rise at the back of the boat and they just assume that the, the bigger the number, the better the boat's going to ride. Well, Sea Hunt carries it a step further. So at the bow of the boat, they've got a 55 degree entry. So you can see that Carolina flare at the front. So it's going to give you a soft, dry ride. But as you transition to the stern of the boat, you've got a midship dead rise of 22 degrees and a transom dead rise of 18 degrees. And why that's important, you want a shallower dead rise at the transom so you're not rocking and rolling all the time if you're bottom fishing. It's going to give you a very stable platform. Uh, but also the 55 degree entry is going to ride great in rough water. The second thing that I want to point out is how far that Carolina Flare carries to the stern of the boat. It's not just a rounded bow like a lot of other uh, models. It's actually going to carry, I'll try to get a video of this so you can see, it's going to carry all the way back past the leaning post called broken shear design and you'll see it stops try to see if i can point right there so that flare is going to carry way to the back of the boat so it's going to be a soft uh good riding boat and be a very very dry boat as well climbing in the boat we'll start at the bow You've got a spacious bow area with standard bow cushions and bow backrest. One thing I love about the Sea Hunt boats is they are designed for that, that customer who wants to do some island hopping, boat riding, and wants a comfortable place to perch. So you can fit two grown adults up front with stretching their legs out, their feet won't touch. Uh, up to about a six foot five inch person will be comfortable. That's way different from a lot of the other brands we sell. You know, some of your knees are up to your neck, um, tight. You know, there's not enough room for your bottom on the seat. Definitely not the case with Sea Hunts. So there's plenty of room uh, in the bow to hang out. They do also position the cup holders perfectly. You've got one on either side, and then there's also a cup holder behind the backrest if you're going to sit two people on each side. Uh, moving to the front, pull-up cleats are standard on the 234 Ultra. Bow anchor locker is standard. We're opening this locker, there's tons of room in there for rope, chain, whatever you want to store in there. Uh, the black plug there is an option. That's a troll motor pre-wire. We do recommend getting the troll motor pre-wire on pretty much any of the boats. It just makes uh, makes adding a, a troll motor to these boats much easier. And that's something. With the cushions removed, you've got a very, very spacious bow casting platform. So you've got room to throw your cast net, fish, move around. Um, underneath those storage boxes, the uh, starboard side's a 140 quart insulated cooler with overboard drainage so you can put your fish in there and all the blood will drain out the side nothing goes down to the bilge to make it skunky and you also have a second storage box right here i believe it's um 92 quart moving back to the stern of the boat you'll notice that the forward console seat's very comfortable spacious enough to fit uh an adult and a child easily uh, underneath the compartment you do have a 48 quart insulated cooler for drinks and beverages, snacks and things like that. Continuing to move to the stern, you, you'll see the pull-up cleats that are standard on the 234 Ultra. The full bolster package is also standard. Again, cup holders perfectly placed. Rod holders for trolling. Spacious rear seat area. With a walk-through transom as a standard feature. Another thing that I like to point out with Sea Hunts is they do uh, offer a standard four-step reboarding platform, which is nice. Bigger guys, older adults, those, those steps are going to go way down in the water, so it makes it easy to get on and off the boat uh, without having to pull yourself up and having a whole lot of upper body strength. All Yamaha motors with Sea Hunts are standard with integrated hydraulic steering. 
The 200, which is shown in this boat, will have the integrated hydraulic, and then if you move to the 250, it will have the new Yamaha electric steering. And finally, on the starboard side of the stern, you've got a second anchor locker, which is unique to Sea Hunt, so that way you don't have to carry that muddy, nasty anchor throughout the boat and try to tie it in there with the, uh, the forward anchor. With the boxes removed, you've got a second spacious casting platform. And underneath all these storage boxes, you'll find additional things. So under the uh, starboard side, you'll find a five-gallon storage bucket that lifts out. You'll also notice the static hinges that hold those uh, lids open, nothing to slam on fingers. Under the, the middle seat, you've got a 15-gallon aerated live well. And under the third seat, you've got the standard dual battery set up. While we're at the transom of the boat, another thing I'd like to point out is the way that Sea Hunt does their floor drains. A lot of our boats will do the half moon shaped floor drain and there's always a residual amount of water there to stain the boat up and you can just never get it clean. They switched over to the flush mount floor drain several years ago and man what an upgrade. Uh, you'll also notice four speakers, two in the stern and in addition to the two up front and a freshwater shower here. I want to take the time to point out again just how much room is behind the leaning post of the 234 Ultra. Especially with, um, with the standard leaning post with a backrest and rocket launcher. So that's one reason a lot of customers ask, well, why do they make a 229 and a 234? They're very similar boats, both eight foot, six inch beams. The 234, that extra foot is dedicated to the back of the boat. So you have a tremendous amount of room to work and fish behind that leaning post. Um, I mean, you could put your cooler in there, put two coolers, and still have plenty of room to walk around. It's ex exactly a foot more room behind the leaning post than the 229. Uh, while we're looking at the seat, that is the standard seat, standard with a leaning post uh, with backrest, rocket launchers, flip-up bolsters, and a footrest. There are several other options in the 234. You could do, choose to do the um, Ultra Entertainment Center, the Ultra Mezzanine Seat, or got one right here, the uh, Ultra uh, Leaning Post Live, which will have footrest that pop up, um, you know, tackle storage on one side, tackle storage on the other, bait. Uh, prep station in the back so these are your options and taking a look at the console CN does a great job with their layout you've got two perfectly placed uh, footrest um, where you lean on the leaning post or if you've got a smaller kid or a smaller adult it gives you a second place to put your feet so they're not dangling you got a nice glove box there standing with a vision stainless steel wheel with tilt uh, standing with command link Yamaha gauges which is a nice feature. A lot of companies charge an upgrade for the, uh, the Yamaha gauges. And these are OEM digital gauges. Uh, standard with a great switch layout. Switches for the mister system, freshwater system, cockpit lights, plenty of accessories. It does sta come standard with a 12 volt plug and a USB port. All 234s are standard with a JL audio system, stereo. It's the Media Master 50. It's got four speakers does come with a wireless phone charger just above it so you can position your phone and it'll charge itself while you're listening to music. Uh, the boat is standard with a 9 inch Garmin, the 943XS. We do option hours with the uh, 1243XSV. Uh, gives you a bigger screen, easy to see, and when you split those screens, uh, just makes each side a lot bigger. I like the helm pad on the dash where you can put phones, wallets, anything you want, don't want sliding around, and the uh, compass is a standard feature. Opening the fiberglass electronics box, you'll notice the Garmin VHF radio. This is a standard feature. It is integrated to the GPS, so if you use the DSC feature, it will give the uh, coordinates to the Coast Guard. Uh, this boat is shown with the hardtop option, which is very popular on 234. The hardtop is going to come with mood lights. Those uh, silver ring lights there are going to be blue mood lights. Comes with an additional set of speakers. Comes with a um, freshwater misting system and spreader lights to light up the back of the boat. We also offer a canvas option, which is on the boat beside me, and that's a great option, several thousand dollars less. Um, comes with a spray shield, fiberglass electronics box, lights on the front and rear, um, and a life jacket storage net on the stern. Both are good options, and you can also buy it with a Bimini, or if, uh, if you want no top at all. Moving to the console. Got a huge console area, drops down on the floor. You've got a spacious shelf there where you, if you do add a trolling motor, you can see your trolling motor pre-wire 
coming out there, so plenty of room to add your batteries. And there are lights on the side of the console. Taking a quick look at the stern of the boat, you'll see the standard engine is the Yamaha 200 with the integrated hydraulic steering. And uh, one of the questions that I get is, Matt, is, a, is the 200 enough on this boat? And honestly, it does a great job. Um, I haven't figured out yet how to post the performance bulletin on the videos, but you can go to Sea Hunt's website and at the very bottom of their, their description, you'll see a performance bulletin. You can click on it. Uh, it does a great job. Everyone I've sold with the 200 haven't heard any complaints. There is a, uh, an upgrade to the 250. When you go to the 250 though, it does go to the digital engine. So it'll be fly by wire, shift and throttle with the electric steering. Um, great option. You get the CL5 display when you do that, but it is an expensive option. It's about $12,500. So I've never heard somebody say they have too much horsepower, but, uh, but honestly, I haven't heard complaints about the 200 on this boat either. Taking one last look at the, uh, the exterior of the boat. Again, this is the 2024 234 Ultra by Sea Hunt. If you're in the market for a new Sea Hunt or any other center console, before you make any buying decision, please give me a call. Matt Wicker at Chatley Marine, 919-775-7259. I would love to speak with you, answer any questions you may have, and try to save you some money in the process. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you're having a great day. Matt Wicker, Chatley Marine, 919-775-7259.